Hey guys, it's Bob from Back at you one more again. I hope you are doing sensational on this sensational Sunday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, love and blessings and namaste to you. And thank you for your support. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button on the side. So you'll know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are returning subs, thank you for supporting my love and blessings to you all the time as I do the news. And namaste. Today my video is about twin flame one on one. Be patient, your time is coming. Okay? Be patient, your time is coming. Um, today I'm listening to my dad's song, Computer Blue. I know you guys probably have heard this song many times on, on like his movie or on the radio or you probably even have a CD or album. But I wonder if anybody has ever heard the unedited, unreleased, uh, extended version. I have, I was blessed to actually get two different versions of this. One's like a 13 minute version and it has the first and second part because if you always see it like on the, uh, Purple Rain video, I mean the Purple Rain video or the performances and stuff like that, he only does one verse. Then he goes straight to the guitar version, you know, the guitar part with him and Wendy. But the version I have has two verses. One talks about his love life and then the next one talks about his baby. looking for me also. So, um, when I first heard this, I was just like, wait a minute, this is not the version I heard on Purple Rain. What, what is this? And then I started listening and it stopped me in my tracks and I was like, oh my God. You know, my daddy was looking for me. He didn't know where I was. He's like, where's my baby? Where has she gone? Um, first off, you guys, I forgot to tell you, I do not have an Instagram page. People keep on asking, can they follow me? They say, you really talk about some really good stuff on your videos. I really get emails and stuff like that. So thank you guys for the warm um, comments. If you guys have been the outpour of love you guys been giving me. Thank you so much. I appreciate all that. And all the prayers and blessings to you also. Um, I, I've just got Facebook for right now, Facebook and YouTube, and that keeps my place for right along with the rest of my life. Um, but yeah, it, it's just guys, you gotta be patient. It's what I see so many videos about people saying, you can do this, you can do that. And the fact is, you know, they're, they're, they have a nice life. You know, they probably got, you know, a nice comfortable financial account. <laughs> where they can live life and say that because we don't see the struggles that they have. So it's just the fact that I'm like, shoot, I'm middle class, you know, struggling to make a dollar out of 15 cents, trying to, you know, make a living out of myself and do the things that I gotta do to better myself. So it's just like when I get on these pages and I see so many people that, I, I mean, it's just sometimes I gotta keep scrolling because I'm like, oh my gosh, can I see something positive before I scream? Because there's so many people are talking about, I'm, I'm a loser. There's nobody loves me. Um, why do I feel so alone? Um, I'm just, you know, I'm stupid. And, you know, it's just so many negative things that we place upon ourselves that we really do not need to have. And it's just when you keep saying that, of course you're going to have a life where you're going to probably trip and fall. You're going to get coffee on your shirt on the way to work or you might have a flat tire on the way of you know going to your doctor's appointment it's just steady bad luck one after another after another after another after another and it's just the fact is we have said this and you whatever you push out about yourself and you down yourself a lot it's going to program your mind to believe that and that's all you're going to attract that's the only kind of people that that have that same kind of mindset as you the things that are going to happen to you. So you have to uplift your vibration. You have to see the signs that are in front of you. Like when I was making my video, like this is like the third or fourth time I'm making this video. I was like, I love my first one. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to make this better. You know, I can do better. So it's just like when you know you can do better, 
push yourself to do it. Make, you know, be firm with it. You don't have to force it like, uh, you know, if it feels like it's a freaking job and you don't want to do it, that means you don't need to be doing it. Trust me. It means you don't need to be doing it. Uh, and I, I just, it saddens me to see it when people down themselves like that. Now stop doing that to yourself. Just like when you say that about yourself, you'll start believing it and other people will start believing it about you. So it's just like, even though I tell you at the same time, don't worry about what people think, but you don't want, you know, even though people think about, you know, they're going to think about whatever they're going to think about. And it's, it, it seems crazy, but... The main thing about yourself, you don't want to project that. It's just like when I make my videos and if there if there's days that I feel sad, like really, really, really sad, I will not make a video because it's just the fact is even though yes, I'm human, I have days where I get pissed. I get days where I'm sad and I get angry, trying to figure out why am I going through stuff like this? Why does it have to be so hard? Why do I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders? I feel like I'm a Buffy. If you ever seen Buffy and the Fam Vampire Slayer, I used to love that show when it came on TV. And I related so much to her and I felt like, oh my gosh, you know, I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. The weight of the world on my shoulders. And it's just, it's just so crazy. So it's just like when you go through all these different things and stuff like that, it, it's just like you have to project yourself as in a positive manner. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I had family come through the door. So, but anyway, you guys, you, you go through so many different things. It is okay. All right, you know, we, we have so many signs that we, we don't even recognize them. You know, I see different things all the time. I see numbers, 777, 111, 555, 444. So you start seeing a whole bunch of numbers and you're really interested in all the things that you're going through and you want to know you're on the right path. Go Google it. Google it is my best time. You know, I thought Google probably get tired of me when I Google it. <laughs> but I'm serious. You don't want to be like Eeyore. Even though Eeyore was a cute little donkey. He was so pessimistic, he was like, oh, you know, where is he? You know, it's, I'm just over here by my own lonesome. Don't do that. Don't give yourself a pity party. Even though life might suck right now, you have to make the best of it because there are so many people that are struggling out here with cancer, uh, all these different, you know, epilepsy. You know, thank God it was a blessing. I, I did have epilepsy at one time for like about six to eight months. And didn't know where they were coming from. They ran all these stuff from me to find out they were genetic. And I was trying to figure out, you know, you can't ask my family, you know, it's not a family. I wonder if it came from, you know, my, you know, it, it was just scaring me because I had so many different health issues as a child growing up. And growing up as an adult, you know, I started having all these health problems again. So it's just like so many things just happened in my life that I can look back on and say, you know what, that was just God right there, you know. Um, I got into a car accident that could have fatally, you know, just, just could have really got me. It was like, it was almost fatal, but it's just the way they even looked at the car. It was just like, wow, man, how did you make it up out of there? It must have been an angel because it, it was like there was a dent. It said it was like a dent on the opposite side of the car, knowing there was only a barrier there. But the way it looked, it looked like somebody was pressing it. And on this side, the car was shaped like a U. Like, you know, the person hit the the driver's seat and the passenger seat at the same time as the impact. It should have killed me right there, but it was like somebody was touching the car, like making sure that nothing happened to me. So it was just like a blessing when they saw that. It was just like, oh my God, how did this happen? How is this possible? So it was just like one thing after another where I've seen signs in my life, you know, I was just like, shoot, I felt like I was doomed from the womb, okay, I was straight doomed from the womb, but knowing I'm blessed from the chest now, okay, so it's just like so many things, so many signs that you are going to be on your right path, you are going to be a better person, you have to just sit there and say, what do I want to do in life, what makes me happy? You know, it's just it's talking to your friends, drawing, reading, you know, going out and doing poetry in the middle of a, a lounge, you know, do something that makes you happy, do something that makes you feel fulfilled, you know, 
And it's just like things will get better. You just have to believe that things are going to get better. And I have to keep saying that to myself. Even though things are like they are, things are going to get better. But I'm not going to keep you guys today. Love and blessings to you. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.